I want to talk about um, how to keep uh, the flame, the flame of our holy passion alive. Um, I, I understand that um, many of, of us getting usually get cold or, or um, start to become lukewarm. And in fact, the problem is not with Jesus because Jesus remains the same. The Bible said that Jesus will be forever remains the same, and he's um, altogether lovely, beautiful, fascinating, um, full of pleasures. And for sure, we, the problem is with us. Um, I, I, when I try to discern what, what is the struggle that we have, that we one day are in the presence of God, loving him, but maybe the next day we are um, not satisfied and trying to reach out to uh, something around to get a satisfaction. And I, I, I start to realize that the problem is because we have uh, a lot of competing loves. The Bible said that our heart should be um, f- uh, completely uh, uh, in love with God, dedicated for God, that we should live as a kind of a living sacrifice for him. Uh, that he should be our own desire, our only one desire. And s- Jesus said something for the Pharisees that this generation commit adultery. This, this is a generation that loves m- many things. We have a lot of passions when uh, we were supposed to have only one. And that th- those kinds of things, may- maybe social media, maybe... I don't know, serious, Netflix, many things, maybe traveling, a hobby, I don't know, um, maybe our, our, our ministry, but uh, we, we were not made to love anything else from that, that was not God and people. And when we, we, those things we can like it, like I know many missionaries that love more missions than love God. And this is a bad place to be. We should love God. And, and those things kind of distract us from our, our core, main, the, our existence calling. We have a call for our existence, which is love God. And we can be distracted of those things. And I think that we are a generation that... Um, are very t- t- uh, talk a lot about the presence of God, which is amazing. Without the presence, we are. <laughs> can you can you imagine living without the presence of God? But uh, some generations behind, they 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 have um, they 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 were more inside the glory of God. I think we the the the, the gap between we and them is because we don't. We don't talk a lot about consecration. Consecration is when you are. Um, it's, it's not when you are not working against sin in, inside of you. This is holiness. Consecration is where when you are um, fighting against the distractions that you want more of God, that you want to go deeper, that you 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 want you want to quit things that you are allow it to do but you don't want to do because you want to be more empty of those things to get more of God, to be more um, full of the Holy Spirit. So I think we should uh, be more consecrated. Uh, we, we should uh, quit the, those things. Everybody knows what, what uh, kind of thing that distracts you from, from being um, burning and we we need to burn every day. We need to 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 be full of the Holy Spirit. To be to be, be to walk, uh, wake up every day passionate with God being our only one desire. And many many of those things that are allowed for us to do and it's not a sin uh, are are taking space in our hearts. So I I I should say to you that. You it's better to to quit some things that um, 
are allowed in your life, but take space, take get, take uh, 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 your hunger for God. The, the many things that only are, are are good for satisfy our flesh, but not uh, satisfy our spirit. So it's a kind of we put some uh, uh, wet wood in the, in the altar that will not burn. So we need to um, is be more consecrated for Him in open space and and God God only can be the, the God which is everything only can um, dwell where there is nothing because to have enough space to to hold to host him so um let's be more consecrated let's let have less distractions um let's go deeper let's have more hungry sometimes we are we are our our st uh, spiritual stomach are full of doritos and and snacks when God has a have a banquet for us. <laughs>